Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I want to take you through the simplest way on how you can create a WooCommerce product. In this particular tutorial, a single product. And this product will be on sale just like this over here. And uh, when someone clicks on this product, they simply go to its single product page with a product title, product images, and the product description. And just like you see over right here. Okay, with the different images or the product gallery with the cell icon, uh, the category, the item number, the tags, the full description, and all the other details about that specific product. So now let's get started. So back into your WordPress dashboard, make sure that of course you have WooCommerce installed. And then we are simply going to come over here to products and we'll add a new product. So after clicking on add a new product, it will take you to the product page and then we are going to start off. So the product we are going to add is actually a flower vase that looks just like this over here. So we are going to start by adding the product name. So flower vase and then the product full description down below here is where we'll put the product uh, short description. The short description is what comes over here and the full description is what goes down below here. So I've just opened up some dummy text over here and uh, we'll just copy this. You can just write up your short product description and up here is where you add your full product description. So copy, then I paste over here. Then uh, what we have to do now is come over here and then add the category where this specific product belongs to. So if you have a category like for flower vases or basically for vases, then you can add it to that specific category. In this case, we want to add it to a category called vases, but now we don't have any category like that. That means we can simply add one. Then we say add a new category and boom, there it is automatically selected for this specific product. We can even add tags can say flower vase, handmade vase, ceramic or ceramics or handmade can be also the keyword and also we can leave one called flower vase then we can add that and if you have already like for example other tags you can simply just say for example we have a tag called textured so by searching over here we have one called textures or texture so I can simply just select that and there I go. And down below here under the product data is where we have to select the type of product we are creating. Now this is actually a single product because it doesn't have options. It's basically adding to the cart and there you go. And it's not a virtual product. It's not a downloadable product. It's a physical product we will have to be shipping. And under the general section, we have the regular price and the sale price. So the regular price is the actual product price like this over here which is 799 is the actual price then that is what i'm going to add over here for this product it is 599 and for the sale price this is kind of like a promotion you give to your website visitors that hey during this period of time we are going to be selling off this item for this particular price so in this case we are going to sell it off for 499 and we want to make sure that this promotion runs at a particular date. You can leave it to be open to run all the time on your site. But in this case, I prefer to add a particular date for this discount to run. So I'll simply say from the 29th until actually the 29th of the next month, which is November. And there I go. On the inventory section, I'm going to add the item number. What's the unique identification number for this item, which is called the store keeping unit. So in this case, I'm going to say maybe it is uh, 305. And this should be actually a unique number on all your products in your store. And then we can also enable uh, stock management to know how many of these items do we have in stock. For example, for this product, there are 30 of them in stock. And uh, here we are going to say maybe we have like 15 of them in stock. Back orders means that someone can still order for this item even when the stock quantity is zero. So we can say allow back orders. But we can also say allow back orders but also notify the customer. I prefer this 
and the lost stock threshold this is what wordpress sends you or the notification wordpress sends you once a product is getting out of stock so in this case i want to get a notification once they get to 10 and then you can also enable whether this item is sold individually and now this means that this item cannot be added in the cart or cannot be bought together with other items on your store i don't want this to be the case down to shipping we have to weigh this item and it, for this item it is 0.2 kilograms or 200 grams and the length height and width of this item i'll just put this over here so the length i can say three centimeters the width is five and the height is let me say seven then uh, for the shipping class there is no shipping class for this item and for the linked products there are no linked products for this item but you can still add a linked product for example you can say uh, we have one that is a mug for an upsell once someone is buying this they can still add this to the cart or you can even add several other items as an upsell we can also promote other products once this product is actually added into the cart for our cross sales so we can maybe say um, textured for another product that we have on the store so textured mug okay you can even add several products that is if you have any then uh, under attributes we can add attributes for this uh, product for example if you have this product maybe with dots and another product with you know just and lines crossing through the item just like you see over here so you may have this kind of design but also you may have this other kind of design for the same product so you can still add some attributes so let me come back over here and we want to say custom product attributes and we can say the texture and then down here is going to be basically the different kind of attributes that we have so we have only dots or dotted and then we have to add the pipe so the pipe is what actually separates the different attributes you're adding over here so you are dotted and then we have like one called lines or whatever you name it so i can simply just say visible on the product page so i can simply say save attributes so we have two different textures one of lines and one of dots and under advanced section so we can add a purchase note which is actually optional and we can send it to the customer after the purchase of this specific item we don't want to add that and then under here we have something called the menu order which we can use to customly order or position our product i don't want to add this we can also enable reviews and i'm going to leave a link down in the description box below on how you can add product reviews on specific products in your wordpress website so once now this is done next what we have to do is now to add the product image so by clicking over here we're going to add our product images i'm going to come back over here and i'll select all the images that apply to this specific product so i'm going to simply drag this to our media library cool so we have this image we want to use as our featured image and then we are going to add the product gallery so we are going to come over here and then we'll add all the other images for our product gallery or for our product so i'll simply just select this control click or command click on mark then i have them over there and now what we're going to do is first let's preview how this product looks like cool so we have our product title we have our price now here we are showing actually the actual price of the item why is it that the sale price is not appearing simply because the item is not yet up for a sale so what we have to do is going to come back here to the product page and we are going to come to general and we are going to change the sale price or the sale promotion to start on today's date or even we can say saturday's date and then we can say preview but also i'll save a draft cool now the sale is on then the other thing is we have a short description of the product and we have 15 in stock and can also be back ordered and uh, the product stock keeping unit is that product category and then the other tags that apply to that specific product and then we have the description or the full description of the product and all the additional details that we added you know we have you know this if someone is let me say ordering two of them they can mention 
in the knot and say I want the dotted ones or basically I want one with dots and one with lines. And here is our upsell, the product that we actually linked to. So all looks fine even when we look into the product images, all looks fine and also the sell ribbon over here showing up. So what we have to do is very simple. We can now simply publish our product. And now that means that our product will be visible on our store. Cool, now the product has been published. Now when we head back here to our website, I'm going to simply come over here to the home page, and I'm going to simply scroll down below here and boom, we have our new product called the flower vase. It has zero rating. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a product rating to a WooCommerce product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been of value to you on how you can actually create a single product in your WooCommerce website. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, I wish you a good time. Goodbye.